right, shaped like a surfboard. It's 12 feet long, 26 inches wide, and about 5 inches deep. Can you tell me, Hoyle, exactly what windsurfing is? Uh, windsurfing is basically uh, sailing in a small boat uh, and hiking out, hiking out to the extent you're totally balancing the force in the sail. Hiking meaning that you, uh, well, I notice that you're always standing. Is that gives you more of a hiking standing brush exactly further than the wind, wind toward the wind as the wind blows. And we'll continue to watch Hoyle Schweitzer as he works his way down the marina channel into some higher wind conditions. And as he starts to pick up on some of those stronger gusts, he finds he can hike out to even a further extent, leading his full body weight into the wind pushing against the sail. And as he approaches the end of his run, he begins to go into a turn, turning his windsurfer around, much in the same way you would turn a surfboard around, relocating the sail, and hiking out in the other direction, where we'll leave Heil Schweitzer in a rather precarious position in a full hike-out body dip in the marina. And we'll go on to watch another one of Hoyle's windsurfing crew, a windsurfer named Mike Ross. I mean, we have uh, here today what you call a high wind condition. Just how high is the wind? Well, the wind's not all that high. It's, uh, it's probably gusting to uh, mid-twenties, but it's very shifty. And I think that's adding to the difficulty. and riding the wave on a larger boat like a catamaran. Do that you're very close to the water, you get a greater sensation of speed. Now Greg, what is the first sense with the wave behind him and his sail full of wind, the way that he said it should be, riding in towards the beach, where he turns back around and heads out in the other direction, using the next wave outside as sort of a ski jump, or a small mountain to jump up and out and over, on his way back out to find the next wave. I'm on camera here with Dr. Alan Parducci, who is the older member of the windsurfing crew. Can you tell me, Alan, why you chose a sport as rugged as windsurfing? Well, I think it was a sense of excitement. I'm interested in the psychological sense of speed, how fast it feels like you're going, and this is what this sport offers. You just tear down the waves and you think you're just going a million miles an hour. You don't know how fast you're going, but you know you don't want to go any faster. 